Look at Lexus's current vehicle offerings, and like every automaker, you'll find standouts like the LS, LC, ES, and then some real dogs like the GX, LX, and well, should we put the IS in that category too? Last redesign for the 2014 model year, it remains the cheapest way to get into a new Lexus sedan with a starting price of around 40 grand. And an F Sport livery, it's still turning heads. No sagging skin or bald spots. Six years later, and the IS looks as spry as ever. But appearances can be deceiving. And as a long gaze turns into meaningful conversation, the IS effuses a much different vibe. The IS is one of the oldest vehicles in the Lexus lineup, so expectations have to be tempered here. This one is the 300 all-wheel drive F Sport, so there's definitely not much engine, but at least it looks fast. And that's kind of the oddity of this car. As a sports sedan, it's no longer a legitimate player. But marketed as a compact luxury car, well, there's still some worthiness to be had. But priced at $50,000, it's no wonder Lexus doesn't sell many of these anymore. Perhaps the redesigned model due next year will recapture some of the original's glory. Unlike the rear-wheel drive IS300, which is powered by a 2-liter turbo making 241 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, this all-wheel drive model runs with a 3.5-liter V6 with underwhelming output. 260 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque. It also makes do with two less gears, still working all four wheels through a six-speed auto with 70% of the drive torque distributed to the rear in normal conditions, capable of a 50-50 split when needed. Though the eco-minded transmission makes it feel like you're driving in quicksand most of the time, the IS does handle pretty well for a heavy car. I just wouldn't consider it much of a sports sedan. It's more like a smart-minded luxury four-door with sharp looks and a gorgeous interior. It has that Lexus level of refinement to it, but it's a little louder than most of their cars. Lexus states, and I'm quoting here, that this is a true sports sedan in every sense of the term with exhilarating performance. Now that I can guarantee you is not true, but that doesn't mean it can't be enjoyed. For example, these sports seats are some of the best to ever meet my backside. Supportive yet plush with perfect driver positioning. And hey, they're red, which makes this stylish cabin really pop. There are staggered width summer use performance tires and combined with the F Sport's unique suspension tune, the grip is high and the IS remains securely planted as you are left exasperated by the lack of energy exiting the curves. Even in sport mode, while working the paddle shifters, nothing can save this car from feeling heavy and gutless. Now on the other hand, you could drive it for days. It's quite relaxed and comfortable. The sliding gauge cluster is very cool. The cabin aesthetics, leather stitching and other details are top notch and there are compact appropriate sized rear seats. As for the electronics, it's best to pretend they're not there so as not to subject yourself to the early 80s bonging noises and the frustration that comes with using this mouse pad. And remember, CarPlay and Android Auto didn't exist when this car first hit the market, and six years later, they still don't. New for the 2019 model year are these optional triple beam headlights. Priced at $1,160, these LEDs show the way with greater visibility and provide more visual distinction. The price as tested here is $49,545, and this car returns 21 MPG in mixed driving on premium. For some perspective, a significantly more powerful BMW 330i xDrive achieves 7 MPG better. 7. For TestDriveNow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.